Hi, my name is Gabby Peña. I'm a Master Catechist at the Diocese of San Diego. Welcome to this, your video on Lesson Planning for Module 2 from the Seven Essential Modules from the program Faith and Science from Father Spitzer. Let's start our class with a special prayer. Genesis chapter 1, verses 1 through 5. Father Spitzer's program, The Seven Essential Modules, is comprised of seven modules. This video is only covering Module 2, Evidence, Scientific Evidence of God's Existence. We're here to today to address a problem. We know that 40% of our millennial adolescents will be abandoning their faith because we have failed to meet four challenges that they face. One is that faith and science are not compatible. Two, they believe that human beings do not have souls. Three, they don't understand why an all-loving God can allow suffering. And four, there is no evidence that Jesus is the Son of God. Let's go over our lesson plan worksheet. First, we have a date and the grade for the students. Then we have a topic or theme. Notice how this worksheet has been filled out for you. Our topic will be the scientific evidence of God's existence. The text and the handouts will be the Credible Catholic Module 2 video, the student workbook, the activity sheet, and maybe a reflection journal if you wish the students to write down their thoughts. The objective of this lesson is to provide scientific proof that our universe requires an intelligent creator in order to exist. The main concepts that will be covered in this module is, are the Big Bang Theory, Entropy, the BBG Proof, and Fine Tuning. The opening prayer may be the, the reading from Genesis chapter 1, verses 1 through 5, or another prayer that you may want to address. The module itself also has an opening prayer. In terms of life experience, there's various questions that you can brainstorm in your classroom to get the children to start thinking about God, creation, the universe, etc. The presentation of the faith is the actual module in its various sections that we will cover in a few minutes. The faith response is either an activity, a reflection, or a project that the students can do in order to provide evidence that they have understood the information. The materials needed would be a computer, the internet, posters, science books, rulers, rubber bands, balloons. Any assignment or homework will depend on what you want the children to do. It can be a project or to go ahead and review the video and watch it one more time. Module two is comprised of different sections. We have a 12 plus version, a 15 plus version, and a 12 plus through adult Spanish version. In the chart on the side, you can see what parts and what materials are available for each of the different versions. In order to access your video, you must log on to www.crediblecatholic.com. Select the seven essential modules from the About top menu key. Then select the 12 plus or the 15 plus, depending on which of the modules you wish to present to the students. You will notice that you have video, PowerPoint presentations, student workbooks, and presenter guides. The 12 plus video is comprised of eight total units, and the 15 plus video is comprised of four units. They contain the same information, they're just separated differently in each of the different grades. The following chart shows you the time frame for each of the different units in the different versions. This will help you plan your time in the classroom. The Magis Center has provided some scheduling options. As you can see, 60 minutes, a one hour class will only provide presentation text for the students. 120 minutes will give you the full program. My recommendation is that you present this in either two or three sessions. The objective and key points to this lesson are very important to keep in mind. Our objective is to provide evidence that our universe requires an intelligent creator in order to exist. The topics covered are the Big Bang, which provides evidence for the expansion of the universe that will lead us to the concept of the beginning. The BBG proof and entropy will provide evidence for the beginning of the universe, which depends on the Big Bang in order for it to be true. The fine-tuning of the universe for life is evidence for a creator. The student takeaways are that Catholics agree that faith and science do work together and they are compatible. And also that God is the creator and that he does exist. Some tips and lessons learned related to this module. 
One, make sure that you as a teacher, you read and watch both videos, the 12 plus and the 15 plus. Read the teacher guides and the student workbooks. Keep a terminology card so that you'll know the definition of terms that you don't understand so when the students ask, they can, you can provide an answer. Keep a list of pictures and key personalities mentioned throughout this module. If possible, watch the movie before the video so that the kids will see the movie once they're in the video and make connections. Keep all the information related to the program in one place. Stay organized. Make sure to use the student workbook and the activity page and the assessment page. Research shows that people learn 20% of what they hear, 30% of what they see, 50% of what they see and hear, 70% of what they say, and 90% of what they do. So let's do. On the slide here, you can see various activities that you can implement and use throughout the program. Make sure to set the environment. Use science books, posters, um, scientific pictures, anything you have that can point the kids towards the space, towards the universe and the stars. Okay, so we're gonna play the module. Keep in mind that the module is comprised of three different chapters. Chapter one, in the beginning, there is a discussion question that starts the chapter. The question is, are science and faith opposed to one another? Be careful that you do not spend too much time on the faith part of this question. Remember that the module has all the information that you need. Let the module teach the students, teach the material. Don't be tempted to, to deviate this lesson into faith. Chapter one talks about the evidence of the expansion of the universe. It will demonstrate the Big Bang Theory. It will provide three reasons why the, bang, the Big Bang Theory is accepted and why it's provided. And it also will provide four speculation as to why some scientists will not trust the Big Bang Theory. The first evidence for the Big Bang is the redshift. The second one is the cosmic microwave background or the hiss, where we can actually hear the Big Bang. And the third one is the distribution of matter. Then we go into four speculations as to why not the Big Bang should be accepted. It talks about a multiple eternal multiverse. It talks about an internal cycle for Big Bangs. It talks about <clears throat> the idea that the Big Bang has always existed. And lastly, it talks about how our universe is so complex, there's no way the Big Bang can exist. These four speculations are outnumbered once you bring in the BVG proof and the entropy proof. Chapter two, evidence for the beginning of the universe, the BVG proof and entropy. The BVG proof is basically a theory that talks about that every expanding universe must have a beginning point. BVG simply represents the last name of the three scientists that put the theory together. Entropy talks about the need for the universe to run out of energy. However, our universe has not run out of energy. Something keeps our universe going. Chapter three provides evidence for a creator of the universe. In chapter three, we discuss something called fine tuning. As a closing thought, the Big Bang alone cannot prove the existence of God or that he is a creator of the universe. We need the BVG proof, entropy, and fine tuning working all together in order to provide that proof for the students. Welcome to the activity module. In this module, we're going to be talking about activities that are within the chapters and other projects that you can use to summarize the information that the students have learned throughout the module. Here are the activities that you can find within the module. First, you will have an activity that help make, helps you blow up a balloon and one that uses a ruler and rubber bands. The material you will need is a ruler a Sharpie pen, a broken rubber band, and a clear balloon. It can be white or a clear color. The first activity is to grab the balloon and draw round circles on the balloon. Make sure that the circles are nice and big. Have the students blow the balloon.
and talk about the distance between the two circles within the balloon. Follow the instructions on the activity sheet found on your workbook to answer the questions. The second activity within the module is to use the ruler and the rubber band to show the expansion in the space between the different galaxies. You will grab your Sharpie, place the rubber band over the ruler and mark the one inch, the two inch, the three inch, four inch, five inch. And then have the students expand the rubber band and see the distance between the different spots. The activity sheet will have three sections where you will be able to fill out and answer these questions and put the answers in these three circles. Now let's look at some activities that you may want to use to help the kids summarize the information that they have learned in the various modules. Our first project is a rocket. The kids will be able to document the information on the modules on the different panels and at the end, they'll be able to spin their rocket. Another version of the rocket is one that's a little bigger than that. And this one, is same concept, bigger panels that will also spin. On this project, the students were able to create their own paper and use it as a, as a decoration for the panels instead of using predefined paper. A second project is what we call the star. It's a little booklet. The kids will be able to open the book and document the modules in the different panels. But when they grab these two ribbons and they tie them behind each other, they will be able to see all the information in a circular format. And if you lift the project, you can see a star. A third project for the students to help them document what they learned in the module is to use what we call a squash card. This big squash card is using a 12 by 12 paper. You can make a smaller version by using an eight and, eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. This second example uses construction paper, which may be more economical for the classroom. You're not limited to this. You're welcome to make it longer, bigger, faster, and fancier. Or if you want to be creative, you can make it more expansive. So let's do some of these projects. To get started with these projects, you're gonna need some paper. You can use black or white paper, foil paper, various colors, glitter paper, or design paper. 
All these items can be found at your nearest craft store and there's always specials and sales. This can also be very expensive. So today we're gonna to show you how you can make your own paper. We have two products, the gel press. We have a small gel press and we have a large gel press. With this product, you're able to create your own paper using different paints. This is what you can get. If you use the bigger gel press, the pages will be bigger. Okay, so our first project is the squash card. We will be making the small one today. You will need three pieces of paper. It must be perfect squares. You can fold by hand or you can use a scoreboard to get the perfect fold. You fold in half. You can use a bone folder to make it a crisp fold. Fold in half again. Four equal parts. Now you will fold diagonally. Make sure that your edges are straight. When your edges are straight, it will fold much easier in and out. Fold three of them the same way. Now that you have three pages folded exactly the same, you can grab the first one, pinch it up, and then shut it down to form a perfect square. Make sure that all your edges are properly folded, nice and neat, on all three of them.
Now it's time to glue them together. Grab the square that does not have the diagonal fold and glue it to the other page that also has the square without the diagonal fold. Make sure that you do not glue down where the fold is. You wanna make sure everything folds properly. Double check that everything folds. You can also use double sided tape. Grab your third page and do the same thing. Glue it to the square that does not have the diagonal fold. Once again, double check that everything folds properly. And now you have all three pieces together. It is now time to decorate. On the website, you will find some sheets that give you mini pictures of the various sections of the modules. You can use construction paper or cardstock paper to decorate your sections. You can use glitter paper, foil paper to decorate the rest. Now that you've decorated your paper, now you can start gluing in the pictures. This is how you fold it once you're completed. You pinch these two in go down. Turn it around. Grab these two in and pinch it down. Turn it around. Grab these two in and pinch it down. Our next project is the Starbook.
for this project, you're going to need 11 sheets of paper, a piece of eight and a half by 11, and cut it in half. You're gonna fold the paper in half. You're gonna grab a second sheet. You're gonna fold it in half as well. But on the second sheet, you're gonna fold it in half again. On both sides. And you're going to glue just the edge of the folded, the four folded edge to the two folded edge. Make sure they are straight. Do the same thing on the other side. And that makes one of your panels. Do this five times. Now that you have all the five panels ready, it's time to put them together. But before we do that, we need to make sure that everything is lined up. If one of your panels is not perfect and you can see an edge, now is the time for you to flatten it out. pair of scissors you can cut off all the excess and now everything is even on both sides once you finish that with all five panels and everything is even it's time to glue them together you will glue this side to this side You will glue this side to that side, that side to that side, and that side to that side. Do not glue the last two panels. All the panels will be glued except these two will not. So now that your five panels are glued together and the last two are not, it is time to put on the ribbon. You will need two strips of ribbon. It can be as long as you want them to be so we can tie them. The ribbon can be placed on there with glue or double-sided tape. that they are lined up.
Okay. Do you want to do the Spanish one first? Oh, I'm going to do one first. Oh, I'm going to do one first. Okay. So you're fine. I can glue one? I was only going to glue, I was going to glue one in English and then one in Spanish. Do that. How far? Okay, so it doesn't matter where I start? No. Okay. So let's just do... You are going to glue one then. I'm going to glue one in okay. English and one in Spanish. Okay. Here you go. And... Oh. After you put your double-sided tape or your glue, you remove it. Place the ribbon. After both ribbons are glued on, you're going to grab your last piece of paper, fold it in half, and you're going to glue it on top of the ribbon area. You will glue it down here and here. It's okay to have the ribbon showing because on top of this paper, you will be putting in your decorative paper that will cover the whole section. Our next project is the rocket. Now remember, you can make it in a small size or a large size. Today we are making the small one. You will need a square that's bigger, slightly bigger than another square for the base. You will need two small squares and two strips to form the top part and a brad. And you will need four strips to form the panel. To decorate your panels, you will need smaller squares that you can decorate the edges using distressed ink. So it can show an outline. This gives your project a little vintage look and makes it look galactic. We will start the project by creating the panels. You will need to score four of the panels, the four panels. If you do not have a scoreboard, you can use a cutting board or a cutting mat. Use a ruler. And a pencil. To mark the areas on both sides. Then with a, with a pen or a pencil without the lead, you can score down or you can use a stylus to score it down. And that will facilitate and give you a nice smooth fold. I will be using the scoreboard. For each of your four panels, you will be scoring at one inch, three inches, five inches, seven inches, and nine inches. Now that your four strips are properly scored as indicated, We need to fold them. You will notice you have a small strip. All the other strips are the same size except the last one. So we want to fold it.
make sure that the top strip goes this way. So we're going to form the base. You need to grab your two squares, one that is smaller and one that is larger. The smaller of your squares is the one that you want to use now. What we want to do is we want to grab each of these panels and center them across each side of the square. This is important if you want your rocket ship to spin. Make sure that you glue this bottom half to this base on all four sides. Now it's time to create the connector part on top. You will grab one of the squares and you will glue down these two strips across. One square, glue down, glue down. Once that is done, you need to find the center and with a pokey tool, you will poke a hole in the center. Ready? Once the hole is poked into the center of your connector, place the brad in the center. Fold it back. and glue the other square on top for safety purposes. 
Now it's time to connect your connector to your panels. You will glue just the corner tip to each one of the panels, to all four panels. Leave some space between the panel and the square. Now that your four parts are connected, grab your ribbon, put it underneath the brad, and tie a knot. Now that all the pieces are together, you are ready to decorate your panels. Don't forget to test your rocket. As you decorate your panels, make sure that the squares, you may want to grab some ink, distressed ink. They come in different colors. And decorate the edges so they can highlight the colors and look galactic. If you do not highlight them, they will look very different. This looks more finished. With this, we end the video on the activities. Remember that the main activities that are related to the module are the balloon and the rubber band. These other three activities are meant to be a comprehensive project so that the students can summarize the module on either a rocket, a squash card, or a star panel.